Welcome back. Uh, like we said, there have been two central banks who have given us some uh, indications. The Indian Central Bank, uh, you had the MPC minutes, as well a giant uh, liquidity infusion of 2 lakh crore from December to March. And then you had, of course, the Fed speak indicating that rate hikes next uh, year would be two rather than three. That's the dot, uh, the dot chart. Uh, to parse all this for us, uh, Jahangir Aziz, Head of Emerging Markets uh, Economic Research at JP Morgan, joins us on the phone line. Good morning, Jahangir. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, well, if you read the MPC, looked at the liquidity infusion and the Fed speak, are we preparing for a rate cut as early as February? Um, I mean, if you just look at what the MPC said and what even the monetary policy has said in India's case, uh, and, you know, given the actions that they've taken, um, my sense is that, yeah, we are looking at a rate cut sometime in, 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 in the February meeting. Um, that seems to be also consistent with the way in which they're looking at the economy, they're looking at inflation, uh, as, especially as being surprised continuously on the downside with food inflation. And given that, you know, oil prices are going lower, I think that's more or less what one should expect to happen in the in the in the February um, uh, policy meeting. It, I mean, that's for India. Mm. Okay, uh, Jahangir, hi, good morning. Yeah, that is for India. But how does all of this tie in with what the Fed is doing? I mean, seems like the Fed rate hiking cycle could go on for a bit. Uh, they're talking about a growth slowdown as well. Amidst all of that, do you think the RBI will go ahead and cut as early as Feb? Uh, you know, if you look at the Fed speak, uh, the Fed, the only you know uh, important bit that they added from the previous meeting was instead of saying that uh, further rate hikes were on the card, they said some further rate hikes in the card. Uh, the dots went down from three to two. Uh, so my sense is that, look, you know, you want, you, the, the Fed is very comfortable going into wherever the neutral rate is, which is probably two more rate cuts, rate hikes. Uh, so that should, you know, take us through the first half of the year. Uh, we, we meaning JP Morgan, actually believe that you uh, you should actually see more than uh, two to three rate hikes. We uh, continue to believe that there are about four rate hikes left for 2019, uh, largely because yes, the economy is slowing, but the economy isn't slowing to a point which uh, takes off the pressure from the labor market. And um, those are the things that the Fed will be looking for, that the data is going to push them towards more rate hikes than they have in the uh, dots even at this point in time. Um, what that means for India is that, uh, look, I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, I've been you know, arguing on the other side for quite some time that uh, despite the fact that India, is, uh, uh, India tends to see itself as a closed economy and tends to see and therefore focus only on domestic inflation and uh, domestic growth. Um, India has never been a closed economy. It's been a very open economy and it's always open to vulnerabilities coming from the external uh, sector and when it when happens, uh, India does not do well. Uh, so uh, my sense is that, you know, even though the domestic factors are driving uh, towards a rate cut in February, and most likely the RBI will do it, given how much liquidity it has injected in the system already. Uh, this is not the best thing to do, given that the global conditions could be uh, pointing towards a risk of a risk of environment in the first half of uh, 2019. So uh, uh, the short point is that India will cut, but you don't like that cut. Uh, no, I, 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 I you know, lots of people would jokingly say that I've never seen a rate cut that I like. Okay. Um, it's not true, <laughs> uh, but, but uh, my sense is that, um, you know, in a risk of environment uh, or a likely risk of environment uh, in sometime in 2019, um, this is the time to actually, uh, you know, uh, preserve your firepower and not do things that might work in this situation. Well, there are a lot of people who are arguing that the real rate in India has really shot up now, going by the inflation trajectory. It's, uh, you know, over 300 basis points. Sure. And uh, that's the sure. argument. I mean, I, you know, I mean, look, I mean, uh, look that, that is always the case, right? I mean, again, you know, uh, we seem to have forgotten that financial stability uh, directly and directly actually does have an impact on the economy. Mm -hmm. uh, so sacrificing financial stability by saying, look, you know, I need to uh, push for more growth and inflation is low, does not really work out. 
in, in, in even in even in the, in the six to nine month period, okay. and and that's the problem. That okay. you know you really need to balance financial stability with and uh, inflation. Uh, you know, part okay. What's happening to and inflation? That's All right. right. Yeah, Actually, oh, we have our markets opening in a minute, uh, uh, Jahangir. So uh, if you can give us your growth outlook as well, you said that India is always connected, and uh, the forecast is that global growth is going to slow down. What about India? We have a slowdown taking place both in the calendar first first quarter calendar year uh, 2019 and into the into the first half of 2019 throughout the, throughout this period. Uh, and again, you know that is part of not just the global uh, global global economy slowing down, but that we don't really see any real drivers in the in, in the Indian economy that can pick it up in in the next six to nine months. Uh, so we have to wait and see before we get going over this period uh, to see when, when growth starts picking up. Mm. Uh, it is unclear to us that the I, I, we know that the core inflation hasn't really softened mm. uh, that much. It's mostly uh, food inflation and obviously uh, energy and energy prices in the coming months will mm. slow down. Uh, given what's happened to oil prices, but it's unclear to us that yeah. this slowdown in, in 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 the in the economy isn't being reflected, mm. is, isn't being part of a global phenomenon. Okay. If you look at inflation across the world, uh, almost everywhere, uh, people are getting surprised on the downside. Okay. Uh, so I wouldn't I wouldn't be that this thing that you know just because inflation is going down and growth is softening regardless of what's happening to the external conditions, uh, India should go for a rate cut. Oh, but my, my sense is that India will go for a rate cut in February. Okay, so. <laughs> okay Jangir, we'll leave it at that. Actually, we have got the pre-opening rate, so thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, that's the expectation from The Economist.